Good evening, my name is Janet Hill and I am going to talk about the reanimating of cryonics. Um, first and foremost, I am opposed to any further research of cryonics. Um, basically, cryonics is where they wait until a person dies, meaning they take their last breath, and um, right when they die, they, um, using an IV, they infuse the bloodstream um, with a chemical, like a water base, that stops um, the veins from crystallizing, and it's and it's basic to me. It's like embalming fluid to keep the person, um, uh, to keep the person body to stop decomposing. Um, I am actually shocked that global ethics has not stopped um, cryonics um, reanimating to happen. Um, to think that the scientists are trying to play God is to me an abomination. You, when it's time for you to go to, you know, the, the, the afterlife to, you know, from what I believe you're going to heaven, it's time to go to to try to keep the person still alive and not let them have that peaceful pass over is just it's horrible um i when i think about kant and how he feels that you know it's, it's, it's your duty to do what is right you know not necessarily what how the consequences are it's just doing what is right and i do not understand how you know cryonics is anything you know ethically right to do from my research it seems like all the people that want to be able to keep their self um, alive you know is 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 for selfish reasons um one of my examples in the article that I use is that you know a person wants to see how the future is going to be you know just to keep their you know their self alive or you know they want to keep their self alive just like I said for selfish reasons um thank you for listening have a good night goodbye